Remember who you are. Remember who you are. Larry Tucker. I was the kid in your class who wouldn't shut up. It wasn't because I needed attention. I just couldn't stop talking. You see, I was the only black kid in my neighborhood who couldn't play basketball. I didn't play a musical instrument, and I wasn't good at sports. The only thing I was good at was talking. So talking became my passion. I was affectionately known throughout the school system as a kid who wouldn't shut up. In fact, I was told to be quiet so much throughout my childhood, I was 16 before I realized my middle name wasn't SHUT UP! My mother once told me, she said, Larry, speaking has to be your calling in life, because you do it in your sleep! But there came a time in my life when I doubted my passion and my ability to speak. I began to listen to the critics who said, they're from the projects, who wants to listen to what you have to say? You're too ugly, you're too fat, you're too black, and besides, you're not even as good! When I buried my passion to speak, I also unknowingly buried myself along with it. Dr. Norman Cousins once wrote that death is not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss in life is what dies within us while we live. Without my passion to speak, I no longer knew who I was. I was no longer truly living. I was just merely existing. And then one day an answer came in the most peculiar place. In a scene of a movie, a children's movie made for adults called The Lion King. Following the death of his father, the young lion Simba had lost confidence in his ability to fulfill his destiny as a new king. On one quiet evening, he spoke to the spirit of his father. Mustafa speaks. Simba. Father. Is that you? You have forgotten me, Simba. No, no. How could I? You have forgotten who you are, so you have forgotten me. Look inside yourself, Simba. You are much more than you have become. You must take your place in the circle of life. But Father, how can I go back? I'm not who I used to be. Remember who you are, Simba. You are my son and the one who came. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. For three weeks, I tried to remember who I was. And then another answer came to me, this time in the form of a book. The book was called The Greatest Miracle in the World by Ad Mangino. And every word and every page I read seemed to breathe life into my spirit. According to this book, we are the most magnificent creatures in the universe with unlimited potential. And Og Mandino admonishes us to acknowledge our magnificence by asking ourselves these questions. Are you blind? Or you can speak. 100 million receptors in your eyes enable you to speak. Well, are you deaf? No, you can hear. 24,000 fibers in both ears vibrate to the sound of the wind, the rain, the trees, and the sounds of a newborn baby's cry. Well, are you mute? No, you can speak. You can speak like no other God's creatures. Your words can calm the angry, soothe the me, and say words that people yearn to hear. Words like, I love you. Are you paralyzed? So you can move. You have 500 muscles, 200 bones, and 7 miles of nerve fiber. All sleep and eyes. The moon is your command. Well, is your heart weak? No, your heart is strong. Put your hand over your chest and pull it pulsate. Hour after hour. Day and night. Asleep or awake. 36 million beats per year. Pumping blood to more than 60,000 miles of veins and arteries and tubing, pumping more than 600,000 gallons of blood each year. Man has never created such a machine. No bank in America is better protected than you. 
No invention or creation is more magnificent than you. You are truly God's greatest creation. And there's nothing in this world that you can't do. And after reading this book, I finally remembered who I was. I am Larry Shut Up Tucker, God's greatest creation. And I might be from the project, and I might be too ugly, too fat, or too black, but I was born to speak. Never let anyone take away your passion. And if the passion within you dies, then take a look at the real Superman, after Christopher Lee, who despite a tragic accident was left him paralyzed from the neck down, he continues to follow his passion. Christopher Lee remembered who he was. In his autobiography entitled, Still Me, he proves that a tragedy can paralyze your body, but only you can paralyze your being. Are you living through the passion in your life? You see, your passion is who you are. And within your passion lies your purpose in the circle of life. So remember this. No matter what challenges life brings to you, keep following that passion inside of you. As Osmond Dino and Christopher Reeve both prove the greatest miracle in the world is you. Remember who you are. You are the sons and daughters of the king. And you are God's greatest creation. There is nothing in this world that you can't do. So take your place in the circle of life. Remember who you are. Remember who you are.